Hey guys, welcome back. This is Faisal Khan from Voice Bootcamp. In this lab, I'm going to show you how to verify the outbound component we just completed up until now. Uh, there are a few things that I have manually uh, missed, uh, intentionally left, left it uh, incorrect. So I'm going to show that to you how to identify. That. Now, using the frame uh, diagnostic framework, you'll know if you scroll down, you'll see that the outbound dollar is pretty much all shut down. There is all access there that basically tells you something is not correct so what we need to do is first uh, start with the uh, configuration of our PG setup so dialer edit next Zip, now see this zip dollar right here this zip dollar should be the same name that is configured right into your configuration manager this name right here which is we created at the uh, previous lab so that should be the lab uh, name that we that goes here click next uh, this is the IP address 42027 so let's see if that solves the problem click continue can okay, start because I'm going to refresh that I'm going to give it a few minutes to see if anything changes here The one thing is different is right now if you look at the CTI is now U instead of X. That means it's, uh, it's usually not reachable. Uh, uninitialized for example. Okay, so what we're going to do right now to fix this go back to the peripheral it's already open now right now it is pointing to CG uh, CTI server this one CG5A which is also used by Finas for example so let's go and add a separate CTI server see what happened it's gonna be 44027 I'm gonna copy that Everything else will be same IP address because it's a single single server. Okay, it's still X, X, U, X, X. That means none of them are configured. Let's restart the service. And we're gonna rerun the dollar. Okay, so this page is fine. So click next. So this is where we're going to change the port number to 44027. Everything else same. And next. Okay, so CTI 3 is there now. So let's restart the service. Okay, so the dialer is still taking its time. Voila. As you can see now, the dialer is set to A. That means active. Configuration ma uh, campaign manager is active. CTI is active. These are the port number. MR media ring is also active. SIP gateway, which is a router, is, is also active. If I go to the admin server where my 
media routing is installed right here pg3 you can see the media ring i mean it's not media ring media routing is also now active okay so it's all able to communicate so it's very important that those port numbers are configured properly all right so the verification confirms that my dialers are all up and running my media routing uh, is also up and running what i want to verify one more thing just before we close this particular section is to uh, log in to the Fina server make sure that's working I would need an iPhone for that three one zero one Okay, so I can log in to Finas successfully. Now, one thing you want to verify in the Finas server and the administration is to make sure that the Finas server uh, call variable layout has the variable that are ECC variable that are used by the outbound. Remember the BAA uh, variables that those should be uh, displayed here on the uh, layout. So, so far I have the BA account number, BA campaign. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So the verifications confirm my dollar is all active.